Hello everyone, we are SK Gaming Smite team. Uh, we just won the ESL SPL kickoff event here at the ESL studios. Congratulations guys. Considering the fact that two weeks ago you had to play a tiebreaker game to get to this event, did you actually expect to get the number one spot? Um, not the number one spot. We expected to do well versus Cloud9 in the first game, but we didn't expect to win. So it was a, it was a good uh, outcome for us. Uh, well, it was a good exp experience, uh, I guess. Um, we had like uh, one week to practice. Uh, none of the teams had uh, practiced before, so I think it really helped us uh, to get to first place as well. So it was pretty good. Was pretty good. How did you practice for the, for the event? How do you practice? Um, we practice uh, against other teams that weren't coming mostly. Uh, against DSM as well, but mostly against uh, teams who didn't come to the event, so they couldn't get strategies from us. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, your first game was against Cloud9. How did your preparation for that specific match of well? We were looking to see what they played from their previous games. We researched hard on good picks and bans for team fights, and we came out with counter picks to picks that they might take, um, and basically that's it. Okay, tell me a bit about how the actual games went against Cloud9. It went well, I guess. Like uh, last night, just the day before this, we went through like what we would think they would pick, and like it kind of turned out like we like we looked into last night. So it turned out really, really well, I think. Uh, that was definitely the tournament of uh, underdogs. Did you expect? To uh, honestly, I think we were prepared to face TSM, I guess. Yeah. But I don't know, like, Coast played so well, like, it's, it's a reason why they were there, so. Uh, it was a very tough final, went to the fifth and final game. Um, tell me about the Tantos pick, for example. Uh, did you expect them to ban them uh, to get the ban in the last game? No, 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 no. I don't know if we even plan to play. Like, we, we plan to play, like, one game. We had a special setup for it, you know, really strong early game. But then, like, it turned out really well, so we started playing it at another game as well, and it worked out well, so I guess they feared it. Were the nerves uh, catching up to you at some point, playing so many games, one after another? Yeah, <laughs> Yep, let's go to bed, yeah. Mm. You're the only one who didn't talk we obviously played seven games today, so when you play seven games, you get really exhausted. So in the last couple of games, uh, you're obviously going to play worse and worse after how many games you play. And, uh, yeah. So uh, the Pro League starts now, what are your expectations about that? Um, well, obviously it depends on what teams are going to make it, because there's still two teams that um, can make it in. Uh, but I guess I expect us to do pretty good since we had this, this just this performance at this offline event. But I think we play better offline than online. But yeah, I guess we'll just have to see. Well, uh, thanks everyone for supporting us. Uh, and I guess that's it. Thanks everyone for supporting us. Th thanks to the s sponsors. Uh, <laughs> Median, Asrock, HyperX, uh, and, and that's it, and no, so on. We have, to, we have to thank SK as well for the, like this week at the boot camp and everything. Like it did so much for us, you know. Like a huge thank you to Alex and everyone involved. We love you, Jens. We love you, Hyrock. We also I also want to thank Hyrock because without him, we wouldn't be here. Because uh, he took us to first place on the week seven of the qualifier. So, thanks to him as well. Thanks to him. We are here.